Well, Tonawanda Coke, of course, shut down months ago, but tonight there is a fight over millions of dollars that have paid out for polluting. And good evening, I'm Scott Levin. Mary Alice Demler has the evening off tonight. UB controls that money, and local governments and an environmental groups say that the university has cut them out of how it's used. Tonight, reporter Steve Brown is on the story, and he's asking the tough questions. Where did the money go? Well, we're not sure. The money these local government and community leaders wonder about is from Tonawanda Coke. When the company was found guilty in 2013 of violating the Clean Air Act, Judge William Scretney ordered Tonawanda Coke to pay over $12 million for a pair of scientific studies, a health study proposed by UB professors and a soil sample study proposed by Jackie James Creedon of Citizen Science, which did much of the early work leading to the successful criminal case. And as far as administration of that $12 million, it seemed like they handed the money over to the university researchers from the beginning. They did. It was very specific, but that process also told us that we would be involved. We believe we should have a say uh, in the accounting of these money, and nobody knows where any of the money is going. Worse, the mayor of the city of Tonawanda called UB's handling of the money a dictatorship. These four say because the early evidence against Tonawanda Coke was the result of local grassroots environmental work, it only makes sense that they have a greater say in how the millions are spent. We're requesting Judge Scretany to revisit this and his team and return control of this process to the community that worked so hard to bring it about. In a statement from UB today, the university points out both Tonawanda Coke finance studies are being carried out according to plans approved by the court. Also, that Citizen Science has received more than $100,000 for its work on the soil study, but the most recent invoices submitted by the organization contained non-project expenses and will not be paid. So will Judge Scretney jump in here? In a letter from the judge to Citizen Science founder Jackie James Creedon, Scretney wrote the U.S. Probation Office has authority over this matter now. But Citizen Science and local government leaders are not ruling out the possibility of legal action to wrestle away some control of that money. Steve Brown, Channel 2 News.